Acting the Fool, ladies and gentlemen, has been brought to you by the Just Acting Up Show, where James, Mike, Chris, Shay, and Riri are always here, telling you about your few and most favorite, favorite of all topics. Right now, Chris is coming up, stepping up to the mic, getting ready to give you a knockout punch blow of some comedy. Yeah, I know y'all missed me last week. <laughs> Ain't that right? No. <laughs> it wasn't the same. <laughs> it wasn't the same, man. So, let's get to it. So, this week, we are headed to Tennessee, man, and not for the whiskey. Um, a Tennessee man pleaded guilty to threatening employees at a restaurant with an AK-47. Uh uh, his name was Charles Dottie Jr., age 64, admitted that he pointed the high-powered rifle at the face of a staffer who was working uh, her first day on the job, actually, at the chain location in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, actually. Um, and because he felt his pizza order was taking too long, he was upset. Oh, hell no! Yeah, was, that's right, I said pizza. Uh, he ordered a pepperoni pizza, uh, but impatient when he was told it would take 10 minutes. Uh, so he left the restaurant and returned with an AK-47, demanding a free order of Little Caesar's crazy bread over the weight. He comes in with the gun. He pointed it down a little bit. The new employee said her name's Kimberly Morrell. Then she seen him raise the gun, pointed it directly at her face, and he says, well, where's my pizza? I want my pizza now. She said, I never expected somebody to come in over a $6 pizza that you paid for with a gun. Mm-mm. <laughs> Another customer who had received her pizza handed it to Dottie to defuse the situation, and he left uh, the customer's pizza before the cops arrived or whatever, whatever. They called 911. So Dottie, long story short, Dottie pleaded guilty to four counts of aggravated assault, and uh, he also uh, will be getting sentenced on September 29th, later this year. Sorry. Okay, so sum it up for the ones like me that got a little bit of ADHD. Pretty much. <laughs> He wanted his little Caesars hot and ready. The hot and ready wasn't ready, and he pissed him off. So he went and got his gun because he wanted his pizza when he wanted his pizza. The true definition of hangry. The oh, true. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got you now, Chris. I got you. <laughs> and, and one staffer said they wouldn't even. They were kind of shocked because it, the wait wasn't even that long. It wasn't even like ten minutes. If you would just waited like two more minutes. Oh hell no. <laughs> It be like that, boy. I'll tell you, it be like that sometimes, but not like that. Not like not like that, but but like that, yeah. No. Man, it, be, it does be like that. Because I remember one time, actually, this morning, I was so hungry, uh, I almost ate a clock. I didn't, though, because it was time consuming. And also, I have to go back for seconds because, you know, I'm here all day. That's actually a clever joke. I, I That's not a clever one. joke. You don't think it's clever? No, that's not clever. It's pretty clever, right? No, okay. it's not. That's not clever. <laughs> no. Man, and I know everybody loves waiting for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is so close to being here, about two more months. Mm. Who is never? You know who's never hungry on Thanksgiving? Oh. No. The turkey, because he's already stuffed. Brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, 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 like yeah I told you. I, I told you. Well, you know, in, in all honesty, real talk, y'all. Um, Go ahead. I've started telling everyone about the. <laughs> 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 I can't even. Wait, this, this... <laughs> Go ahead. I'm, I'm trying to bring awareness here because like, I've started telling everyone about the benefits of eating dried grapes. Cause it's all about raising awareness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he, he, he kind of getting me today. I ain't gonna lie, man. That, that's that's pretty. Yeah, maybe Thank maybe not because I'm sleep deprived or so. I don't know, but it, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Man. Good, good job, bro. Good job. You, I, know, I, I, you, know, you know, you know them jokes wasn't funny. <laughs> I can't help but laugh this time. I don't know, man. You know, I, I, I applaud his creativeness. You think it's great? Yeah, he said, it was funny. Better call the police. I'm about to audition for Comic View now. Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. No, don't, don't, don't do that to yourself. Don't. Nah, I'm your, yeah, nah, I'm your, yeah, you right. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, I don't want to set you up like that, brother. Not, not like that. Don't do it to yourself. 
No, but James, he did a good job, you say. No, but that mean I won't get to take his ass up to the stage. <laughs> no, he did a good job, you say. Green, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Mike, Mike, that friend, and say, yeah, I want you to go. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, 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 go ahead on. <laughs> Is a snake over there? No, no, no. There ain't no, no, ain't no over snake there. over there. <laughs> I, had already, I had already told you. Yeah, there wasn't no snake over there, but yeah, you just, you just, you just want to be cured. All right, bro, go ahead. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> go ahead. I, I, I have, I have my my first aid kit and stuff ready for me. I have it ready. As soon as you walk over there, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. It's recorded. You go, you go sit back there. Yeah, come here. Uh, yeah, come here. Come it's here. like this, man. Ooh, who needs it? Terrible.